Hello everyone, this is Saif and in this video I'm gonna show you how to get started with Zoho CRM which provides a very simple, easy to use and integrated CRM platform where you can manage a variety of applications at once such as recruitment, books, mailing and supports and services operations. To get started you can just go to zoho.com and you can get started with your free trial. For now I just signed in. Now we will choose CRM. And here we go. The major components in Zoho CRM exist at the top of the interface. For the first tab, which is home, it shows you uh, insights and uh, a summary for your organization or your business, like your open deals, your untouched deals, your calls today, your leads. It also shows you quick insights about your tasks and meetings and more other features. Moving to the next tab, which is leads, it shows you uh, your potential customers. Here, you can see a lead name, company, and other contact information. You can also see the lead source, where this lead came from. It can come from um, cold call, advertisement, uh, partner, and so on and so forth. You can also add another columns from here. You can create another lead from this spot where it will ask you about some information like the name of the lead, uh, the annual revenue, the company and other information. Once you are done you just click on save. Here I will just click on cancel. Next is the contacts. Your leads are the potential customers. However, your contacts are your existing and actual customers. It shows you uh, here the same information for leads. You can also create a new contact from the same way as we did for leads and it asks for similar input data. There is an amazing feature here. Uh, in case you want to send a specific mail to all your contacts or all uh, your leads, not just a single one, and you don't have to, and you don't uh, have the time to send this mail to every specific one of them, this feature can be accessed from Actions, Mass Email. Now we we press on Create Mass Email. Here you can send this mail to all, you, all your contacts or you can filter them according to these criteria. You, you can just fill these columns with whatever you want and here you can s either send uh, this mail immediately or just schedule it for later time. If we pressed on this it will ask you for the date and the time for sending this email. You can also uh, send uh, the same mail to more than a contact from uh, another way, which is pressing in contact, then checking on this box upward and it will automatically select all of your contacts. You can unselect any one of them that you don't want the mail to be sent to and you can press on send mail, then decide the template you want and send. Perfect. Next is the Accounts tab, which represents all the accounts that you use. Here, next is the Deals tab, which contains all your deals, whether it's in progress or closed. Zoho CRM classifies your deals according to the progress or uh, the, completion, the percentage of completion of the deal. So, uh, the first deals here have a low percentage, which means that they are at the beginning of the process, where a qualification uh, that you, you just, you are still verifying the qualification of the deal is only 10%. As we go to the right, the percentage increases, which means that uh, more progress has happened to your deal and it's about to be closed until you finally reach 
either 100% or 0%. In case it's 100%, this means that the deal is closed and it's accepted. However, if it's 0%, it means that the deal is closed, but unfortunately, it was rejected. You can also create an, a new deal from here. We can, uh, I, I already entered uh, the, the data before so that it would be faster in the tutorial so as not to waste much time. Uh, here we can select the deal name, new contract, uh, account name, we can select any one uh, of the accounts we use. Uh, the type, let's select a new business. Next step, schedule a meeting, lead source. Um, let's say that the source came from a cold call and the contact name is here. This list is extracted from the contacts tab here. So let's choose Simon. Here you can uh, just uh, enter the amount that is expected to be uh, to be received from the deal. Let's say ten thousand dollars. And here you can just choose the date of closing the, the deal, whether it's it's going to be closed and accepted or it's gonna be closed and refused. And here you can select uh, the stage as we agreed. Each stage of them represents a specific progress in the in the process of completion of the deal. So if it's qualification, it's gonna be the lowest probability because it's just uh, we just completed 10% of the process of completing the deal. However, if we chose um, identity decision makers, you will see that the probability increased. And if you choose closed one, it's 100%. However, if it's closed lost, it's 0% because you already rejected the deal. Uh, here we will just select another one and uh, probability here is multiplied by the amount and the outcome is represented in the expected revenue cell. That's why you cannot change it. It's already locked. You can also uh, write the campaign source, however, we did not add any campaigns to this tutorial, so we will just leave it blank. And let's save our deal. And it was perfectly added, you can also see all the details regarding the deal from here, you can see the contact person, and you can see other informations. Next tab is the tasks tab, which shows you all the tasks that you have, whether these tasks are in progress or completed or even not started yet. Here you can see the subject of the task, the due date, the status, and this is an amazing column, which is priority. It shows you um, uh, the priority of these tasks so that you can finish the highest pr priority first and leave the lowest pr priority to the end. You can also create a new task from here. I will just skip it for now. Here you can see uh, meetings and calls. They are um, a bit close to each other. However, meetings are uh, can be indirect, uh, can be direct in person, or can be uh, online. However, calls are always uh, via, by call or by uh, applications like Skype and other similar applications. Here you can see all the reports that is uh, related to your organization or your business. You can also search for any specific report you want here. Services and projects are other tabs that uh, we are not gonna uh, talk in details about them in this tutorial. So basically this is our top menu. If you want to add any more uh, tabs to it, like tabs that you use, uh, in, uh, that you use uh, more than the others, you can just choose the tab you want, like invoice, and click on it, and it will be added to your menu. And here we are. Perfect. With your Zoho CRM, you can have all your documents stacked up in one simple location called Documents. This Documents folder uh, helps you so you don't have to dig through all your folders to find all your documents. So that was it for today. I hope you found this video helpful and now you are able to set your own custom CRM. Feel free to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sa see you in the next video and thanks for watching.